Yes? Yes, you want to you flip the sign? I think it's full, right? <coughs> okay, welcome everybody to the first cluster talk. Please welcome Jürgen and Marco. Yes, I did. Uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, we are here to tell you how we use Gloucester within ING Netherlands. <coughs> uh, like told before, my name is Jurgen Rij. I'm the product owner of the high available shared storage squad. This is Marco. He's uh, one of our DevOps engineers. So we have a current solution which we offer to our internal clients, which, which is a pretty basic setup of a Replica 3, 3 node Gloucester where the client connects to a VIP which moves over if one of the nodes goes down. The downside of this solution is that we deliver these three Gloucester nodes to our clients and they need to do their own support and maintenance. Uh, very often they're lacking the skills or uh, they just don't want to do their own support and maintenance. So we thought of another solution and that is uh, Gloucester as a service where we will be delivering NFS shares via a web portal uh, we do the maintenance and support of the underlying clusters and uh, the clients can do second day operations like extending a volume etc uh, via the same web portal. So how does it look? Um, we have uh, still a three uh, node um, cluster. Uh, the only thing is that we have two data bricks which are in the same data center but in a different availability zone. And then we have a third node, which is the Arbiter node, which is in an, another data center. Uh, the Arbiter node obviously only contains metadata, so that makes the synchronization to the other data center a bit quicker, and it saves disk space. Um, another component we've introduced is a Ganesha proxy. Uh, this is placed in front of the underlying cluster and helps us, helps us in being scalable, which I will show in the next slide. This is just a, a simple example. The client used to, used to be landing on the, on the bricks with an X on them, but we can change the config file in the Ganesha proxy and route them to another volume. In front of the Ganesha proxy, we have placed an HA proxy, uh, again for scalability, uh, and these also take care of uh, load balancing. Uh, it can make a decision uh, to go to what Ganesha proxy based on the current load. Uh, well, obviously we want to be uh, high available, so everything is double. The HA proxies are active-passive and the Ganesha proxies are active-active. Uh, in this picture there are two Ganesha proxies, obviously it can be more. And for disaster recovery purposes, we have enabled geo-replication in Gloucester. So we've got the complete mirrored setup in another data center. And via the internal workings of geo-replication, all data is replicated to the other data center. Then we have one final component, which is Haketi. And uh, Marco will tell you more about it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Basically, for the Haketi component, we decided to use Haketi because it's a restful uh, interface. API, and then there is also a, a already client base, and the Akadi take care of the, all the capacity management about the uh, disk space and the brick, and where the volume uh, will be created in the, in over the cluster. And then we, we are going to show a small demo about how the solution works. I think you have to drag it. The mirror is not... Uh Yeah, there it is. <coughs> Basically, in ING, we use uh, Ansible, and then the customer, the internal customer, can use the web portal to trigger the Ansible playbook. In this demo, I'll trigger the answer will go directly from one of the machines. So basically, we define the variable for the volume. And so we have the volume name, the size, and then if we want the geo replication of this volume to the 
uh, to the other cluster. And then we run the Ansible playbook with this uh, external uh, parameter. And so the playbook uh, starts to with the connected to the Akati server and create the volume on the master cluster. And on the and then on the slaver one. <coughs> and also check before to create the volume, check if the volume already exists in the server. There is some issue. And after this part now it starts to connect to the cluster directly to create to set up the geo replication because at the moment uh, Akedi doesn't support yet the uh, setup of the geo replication in cluster <laughs> and then the latest step is to, co to configure the Ganesha proxy to export the new volume through the NFS shell. Okay. Now we can see that on the this one is the Akati server, and then on the Akati server we can see that the volume has been created. And we see two times the volume name because one is on the master cluster and the other one is on the slave. And here we are on the master cluster and then we can see that the geo replication for the FOSDEM uh, volume is active. And now we are going on the one of the clients, and then we try to mount the share folder. So we create a, folder, a directory. So the directory has been mounted through the HR proxy. And we can see now the mount point that has uh, 10 gigabytes of disk. And now for testing, we try we just to make some, create one file with a DD function on, on this directory. We can see uh, this is the two Ganesha proxy machine, <coughs> and then we can see that on the right one there is the file transfer. So I'm going to shut down the. Uh, I'm going to stop the Ganesha services on that Ganesha machine during the uh, writing of the file, and then we can see that the writing is stopped just for a few seconds. And then the HI proxy start to send to the uh, to the to the, this other Ganesha proxy the file. So the failover of the uh, of the NFS mount is just a few seconds, so it doesn't take anything about the, the you can still writing the file on the on the shell. And that's it. And 
here you can find the, the, our uh, email address for some uh, question in the future. And if uh, any question now. We have, we have five minutes it. for questions, so. Yes. Can, can you repeat the question, sorry? Yeah, correct. The, the yeah, question, the, the question <laughs> is, is uh, Arcati is used just to create the volume on the cluster? And uh, the answer is yes. Yeah, the Ganesha is uh, directly created through the Ansible playbook, and then we are going, because basically the configuration of Ganesha is just uh, an export file. So we just write the file on the Ganesha server and reload the Ganesha uh, set. What's the typical set of volumes which you create? Like it's fixed, like from the when you client of application is posting for volume, you will create ten giga or like fixed set or like. No. Uh, the question was I think the question was, sorry. Oh yeah, I have my own mic. Uh, the question was uh, whether the the volume is fixed in size. Is that a question? Yeah. No, it's it's not. It's uh, like uh, I told you, we give a uh, web portal to the client, and there the size of the volume is a variable. And we we in the future we will also offer second day operations so they can extend it if needed. Uh. Yes. How large is the setup in total? The question is how large the setup is in total. Uh, right now we're 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 in the test phase, as in. Uh, we are delivering a test setup to our clients, uh, and so far it's uh, only f the only thing you've seen. So we're starting out small, and we can always scale out uh, when we get more customers. Yeah, basically the setup is three node cluster on one data center, exactly. three node cluster on the other data center, and two glass, two Akati, two uh, Ganesha machine on each data center, and two HAProxy on each data center. And uh, of course, the uh, Akati server. So, any other questions? Um, thanks okay. Guys. Thank you.